What's up, lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? Ooh, there was a little bit of lag there. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing fantastically well. So, in today's little old video, we're going to be seeing sort of how much money I can make just hanging out on Rocktropia, you know, what I can do and all that good shit. But, to get a good baseline of stuff, we need to do just a few bits and bobs. First, we need to pop our uh, <coughs> universal ammo into the storage and all that sort of stuff. We are going to also be just for uh, safety sake, we're going to be moving all of our PED from our card into our storage as well. Now you might be wondering, like, how, what, what, what exactly is the plan? Well, there's a few plans. One, we're going to utilize the free things that we can do here on Rocktropia to see exactly how much cashola we can make. And we're also going to see from that, what are we able to do? You know, and we're going to be, I'm going to be spending the next probably a couple of hours, probably two hours doing a few bits and bobs, editing a few, obviously this will all be edited down, but we're going to spend the time uh, basically seeing what we can get, what we could do. And there's already one PED worth of oil. Sorry, one PEC. PED. Ooh, that'd be nuts. The only amount of oil that you can get from uh, this stuff is stacks of one and stacks of two. But essentially, we're going to be seeing like what we're able to do, what we can... Essentially, what we can get away with in two hours. And uh, all that sort of stuff. Now, to save myself a little bit of hassle, I'm not going to record the entirety of the two hours. I'm just going to record uh, times where I'm either mining or hunting and things like that. But I'm going to see essentially what I can do in two hours. The time right now is... Get rid of this. It is 5.27. So, at 7.27, we'll see where we are at. And hopefully we have some uh, some cool shit to show. So yeah, that was our first little, little round in there. Done, let's sell all this good stuff. 14 PC. Too easy, I'll take that. And I think we're going to buy ourselves... Uh, we're gonna get, uh, one probe, and we are going to get nine of these. Yeah, nine, nine peck worth of weapon cells, because we are gonna be able to use our Barbarella and all that sort of stuff, uh, if we want to do any, uh, form of hunting, but I am going to head over to the racetrack to see if we can pick up some more. Well, it looks like someone's already beaten me to the uh, spot. That's alright. And I'll be running around. Let, let's see if there's any this way that we might be able to pick up. If we can grab one or two, then, you know. Awesome. Hey, there's one. Guess he missed it. Uh... I obviously don't want to take all the oil that's kind of around. I mean, it is kind of like a dog-eat-dog -dog sort of sort of uh, system when it comes to the uh, grabbing of the oils and all that sort of stuff. It is a bit of a dog-eat-dog -dog thing, but you know, it, it's it's just the way it, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. We got one. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go back to noobs, noobs, noobs. Ah, we just did our second round of oil collection. Let's shove this stuff straight into the TT. Alright, so that's 12. So we're going to grab one pro. And we're gonna grab. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab. We'll grab three PC worth. Because we want to start building up the ped card just a little tiny bit. See, this is a little bit of an impromptu how to play for free. Okay? And we're going to shoot ourselves a couple of these a couple of these rock tropians, but I think I think we should probably sweat them dry. For the simple fact that everything is worth something. 
Sweat has its intrinsic value. Okay, so when doing this, make sure you're also sweating these fuckers dry. Okay. So I'm going to go through this and uh, yeah, we'll see what we get back from our short little swanting endeavor. Question. Has anyone else noticed that you get hit a lot more while sweating than you do while hunting? I don't know if anyone else notices that, but I get hit a lot more when I'm sweating than if I'm just hunting. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> you guys let me know if you notice the exact same thing. I have no idea why, but just trying to sweat this one rock tropian is like pulling fucking teeth. Like, like, look at this, right? Since actually starting, right? We got three vibrant sweat, that was nice. And then just all this. Alright, so finally, finally, you decide to fucking die. Alright. Well, there's a little bit of something, son. You know, let's just shoot this one. And we'll shoot this one. And we're not going to shoot any more. Just for the simple fact that uh, we might. You know, we might end up losing some stuff. So we're going to let them uh, run through. We're going to try our hand at the racetrack again. But hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves some... Some evader skill as well while we're there. Down at the, uh, down at the track. Because the good thing about the track is like... You can... <laughs> you just... You get swarmed by wolves, right? And when you're swarmed by wolves, you you just you're just getting evader skill. Like you could be there for ages and just be getting evader skill. So this is a good way to get evader skill along with some PED. It's it's quite nice. But anyway, I'm gonna try my luck. I'm just gonna kind of run around, see what's what. You know, you know the drill. Well, I don't see anyone around. Doesn't mean they're not there, but I can't see anyone around. Ooh, straight off the bat. Let's fucking go. Let's get some of them oil. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's just a it's just a fucking smorgasbord of oil. See, the oil tends to spawn pretty quickly down here. And that's why some people will just run around here. And the cool thing is, fruit also spawns around here. Like fruit and stone and dung and stuff. That also spawns around here, so you could be running around looking for just the oil, but you'll also come across fruit and stone and and all that good stuff. So I'm going to run around here for a bit and uh, see what I can nab up, either skill-wise or, you know, oil-wise. We're going to see what's what. Yeah, going around, it was a good haul. Got 16. Thank you. I'll take that. And we're probably going to nab... Oh, probably 10 of that will be that, and uh, yeah, we're going to leave the other six in there. Thank you very much. Let's uh, let's go and kill a couple more rock tropians, I reckon. So I was having a look to see if there's any, any uh, combat missions that are repeatable. There are a couple of combat missions that are repeatable, but nothing, nothing really eye-catching, and... I don't know if I'm actually going to swamp these rock tropians. Because there are a couple of uh, mobs that you can, like, just sweat relatively easily. So I think just hunting these guys will be, uh, will be solid enough. Solid enough stuff to, 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 to sort of keep me going, to keep me happy, you know? Solid enough stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave that one in the tank, because... No, my luck, I'll try to kill one, and then it just won't. But, we do need to keep an eye out, because killing these guys do spawn a, a combat AI. Which, uh, we kill them using cheap-ass ammo, and a AI hunter pistol, and... You know, things turn out good, especially if we're actually able to... You know, if we're actually able to kill them. If we're able to kill 40 of them, you know, we get 2 PD. Well, it's not 2 PD, like, straight. It's a 2 PD towards a... Uh, towards the... It's just a specific card sort of thing, so... I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Back getting some more oil. 
It's a good thing about the oil, because, because it's like, you know, it, it spawns and it's so readily available, you can kind of just do this indefinitely. And I mean, this this is probably a really good way to play if you want to play for free and you're just starting out and you don't really know if you want to. Like, you're not really sure what you want to do. Because in the, in the early days, you can do pretty much... You can do all the professions. Well, not all the professions. Like, you can do the uh, the main three professions pretty pretty comfortably uh, by, you know, just doing the free shit that you're able to do um, throughout the game. And the good thing is, here on Rocktropia, you're able to get the oil and things like that, so it becomes a lot simpler to play for free. And and I think that there's a there's a good... There's a good feeling that comes from being able to play this game for free. You know, there's a really good there's a really good feeling. There's there's a lot of good stuff that comes from this. And the good thing is, like, if you want to kill something that's of a higher level, you know, it takes more PED to actually put down for the chance to maybe get a global. You could get a global. Um, all you do is you just spend a little bit of extra time getting the PED to. Uh, fund the ammunition to kill that thing and then you go out and you kill that thing. It's it's not it's not a difficult formula. It's just people just don't have the patience to do it. But anyway, uh, let's uh, let's continue on. Yeah, so it's been about 40 minutes, maybe just over, maybe 45 minutes, something like that. And yeah, so far so good. Everything everything's just doing what it's supposed to. Everything's I mean, this is just how it do when you're on Rocktropia. This is just, this is just how it do when you're just hanging around on Rocktropia. You just do stuff. It's just how it works. It's just how it goes. Okay, so I guess so far, sort of a tally. Uh, we got... Uh, I've just been buying probes sporadically. We got like three. We got uh, about 15 PC here. It's about... We got, we got about 60 PEC, something like that. Which, if you're sweating, like, if you're sweating as well, you know, you could, you could have a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not bothering with the whole sweating thing. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not bothering at the moment. But, uh, uh, I could try my luck back over at the racetracks. See if any of the oil cans have respawned over there, but so far things are just pretty standard. Pretty standard affair. No big loots, but I've only killed like, I don't know, what, 10 rock tropians, maybe? I've only killed like 10. Yeah, I mean, and this is, this is generally how it runs, like, how it rolls. If you're doing free-to-play stuff, right, and, and this... This is the one thing that, like, people need to understand. Like, even if you're doing free-to-play stuff, like, you know, where you're able to shoot and all that sort of stuff, it still takes a little while. It still takes a fair effort. But at the end of the day, if you're able to do a little bit of hunting and a little bit of mining and, you know, build up some PEDs, then you're, you're winning. You're not losing a damn thing. You're doing nothing but winning. Nothing but winning. So there won't be many around, like, in here at the moment, because I just came through here, but I figured I'd double check. See if I can get five to, uh, purchase another, another survey probe. So yeah, the, the probes I just purchased, and I've just got them there. Just actively there for if I want to, you know, do a little bit of mining, like, later on this evening or something like that. I can just... Go along and drop. And if I'm just after end matter, right? If I'm just looking for end matter, it only takes one probe if you're using it like TT stuff. So you only need one probe. If you're doing ore and end matter, then it's you know you need three because ore is two and end matter is one. You know, so you need three if you're doing both. But if you're just if you're just looking for end matter, then you know, then it's all good. It's all good. Ooh. Looks like they're starting to respawn. Mm. Sorry, mate. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll just let let this dude do his, uh, do his bit. Don't snag any on the way out. Not telling him not to. I'm telling myself not to. 
not to snag any on the way out. That way, uh, you know, that, that way he can uh, grab some as well. So let's just sell this stuff, and yeah, we'll see how... We're just, I'm just going to continue on my merry way and hopefully have some, you know, some uh, stuff to show you. Probably in about an hour. I'm probably not going to do another one of these little updatery bits unless I get like a decent sized loot. But I'm going to go for another, yeah, I'm going to go for until, well, what is it? It's quarter past six. I start at like 5.27 or 5.30. This is about quarter past six. So I'm going to go for another hour and a quarter. And, uh, yeah, we'll be able to have a look at what I've got at the end of that hour and a quarter. So I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a ridiculous amount in. I'm, uh... Oh... Uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I've only, I'm only like an hour in. But I just want to see, look! A little bit of evader skill. That's always nice to see. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. We're getting some evader skill. Getting some, some stuff. Things going relatively well. And we still got like an hour before this video is concluded. So, an hour for my time, not an hour for you guys' time. Probably like a few minutes for you guys, but yeah. Yeah, it's been, uh, it, it, it's, it's going pretty good so far. It's going pretty good. So, my internet cut out. <laughs> That's always fun. It's always fun when your internet cuts out, but, um,. I've just hopped back in now. <clears throat> it cut out at about quarter to seven. So I'm going to... Yeah, cut out at quarter to seven. Then I had a shower. So... So an extra 15 minutes. So I'm going to... Yeah, instead of playing till 7.30, I'll do this recording until 7.45. Just so we have a solid two-ish hours of, uh, you know, of finding stuff. Now, there might not be much, like, much else after this little, you know, oh, I had to add on an extra 15 minutes because my internet decided to shit itself. Um, but, who knows, who knows, I might, something cool might happen, you never know, you never know. Alright, so, two hours is up. <clears throat> Let's have a look-see at what we came back with. So... We got 96 peck in the pe the old ped card. We have five survey probes. And in our loot stash, we have 52 peck. So if we were to throw in that as well, so about 1.7... Yeah, about 1.7, whatever PED worth of uh, stuff has been gained in the last two hours. Now, could I have done anything better? Well, yeah, of course, I could have done uh, some more sweating, because I only got, what, 14 bottles of sweat? So, I could have done better with that. I could have, uh... I could have pulled a brought along my... a... my... hammer. That gives me plus eight or ten run speed. I could have been wearing my Harrier armor while running around here to give me more run speed. I could have done a number of things uh, to sort of increase, potentially increase the amount that I could have gained over the last two hours. But I didn't. Now you might be thinking, okay, well what was the point of this video? The point of this video was to show you that you don't need to deposit any money in order to make PD, in order to play the game. See, the thing is, I've been doing all sorts. I've been, you know, wandering around. I've been uh, doing a bit of hunting. I've uh, been getting some stuff to do some mining. So I've been, you know, being able to go around and do, you know, a few different things. If I was to sit at, like sit and do this all day, you know, what? If I was to sit and do this all day, I'd come back with probably around, you know, 15 PED. If I was to sit around and do this all day. Because I'd have extra sweat, and there's, there's a fair chance that one of these uh, lovely people might give me either a global, or, you know, something in the couple of PED range. And these guys only, you know, essentially all I need to do is find, well, with my, 
with my Barbarella, all I need to do is find three bottles, like three uh, cans of oil, and you know, one of these are dead. And you could you could think about it in this like two ways, right? You could deposit ten dollars, right? Deposit ten USD, get a hundred PED worth of universal ammunition, and use that universal ammunition, run it all dry, shoot, 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 shoot. And by the time you come around to the next one, you've got, like, you're down to 90 PED worth of universal ammunition. Or 90 PED. Instead of 100 PED, you got 90 PED. You played for a few hours, you got some stuff, and it comes down to that. Or, you can not deposit if you don't want to, and run around, get some oil, or just swant. Nothing wrong with just swanting either. If you're on Calypso, just swanting works just fine. Slight different method, uh, you know, to do it, but I'm going to be going over that in my ultimate free-to-play guide whenever the fuck that's coming out. Uh, but essentially, you can just come in, get stuff, and yeah. I've already run over this in a, another video about, you know, get free oil and stuff on Rocktropia, but I just wanted to show you how you can put it into practice to get some stuff. Right, and if I was to go over to, say, my Rookie Terra Master here, and let's say I just wanted to go after the, um, the End Matter. I've got five drops for my End Matter. You know, if I wanted to, I could, you know, put my, uh, my, uh, ore on, my ore on, and I'll have two drops. You know, if I was to, uh, spend another five PEC, I'd have two drops of both. But... It just goes to show that you don't need a lot of money to play the game. You don't need any money to play the game, really. Um, obviously, this only works if you're starting out on Rocktropia. If you're starting out on Calypso, Swanting's really, you know, your only option. Um, if you're on uh, places like uh, Next Island or Toulon or places like that, if you're starting out on these other, other planets, you know, they have their own little niche things that you'd be able to do uh, to do the free-to-play stuff. On Toulon, you can find Narwa Fragments, and you can find uh, Mam Noon, which is, you know, essentially just straight up, uh, straight up PED that you can just throw onto the trade terminal and get PED from that. Uh, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to see how much we could get in two hours. I was just curious. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you know, and if you found something interesting about the video, or if you have something to add, make sure you leave a comment down below. You all take care, and I will see you in the next one.